Well, hey, everybody. Uh, it's Romania Black. <laughs> I feel like it's been forever since Link Click episode eight. I feel like it's been forever for me, not for you all, but I was doing really good. I was recording ahead, getting stuff done early. I felt really good about it with Link Click. And then, and then the people that have been doing the fan subs because they were like, the YouTube subs are terrible. They're like, they went back to school. And so production of their subtitles and things has slowed down. And that makes sense. I We are fortunate enough to not only get their subtitles to be created in the first place, but Reiki on Patreon is going out of their way to get those together to send to me. So I have no problems with waiting if it means getting a better quality, right, of something. I have no problem being patient and waiting for that. So um, I probably will be taking a week break after this set of episodes. We're probably gonna take a week's break. I've got like a heaven officials blessing uh, reaction that I'm gonna put up probably instead um, just to give more time so that I can record ahead if possible. And if not, just to give more time for Reiki and the others to get stuff together. That just seems like it would make the most sense. So next week we are gonna be on a hiatus for a week after this, but I was gonna go on a hiatus this week and then the episodes came out yesterday and I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and record have them up today because episode eight, we didn't really resolve the boxing thing. We just kind of like got out of it, but we still have a lot of unresolved questions. Like with the therapist, Hejan, what, Heshe, what is his deal? Um, what about the girl that Chang Yoshi like met in the flashback that is tied to this and possibly tied to the bracelet that Lu Guang had? Someone hit Lu Guang over the head with a crowbar <laughs> and like tried to steal his stuff. Like, there's a whole host of things that I was like, we didn't really get a lot of res resolution last week. We need some, we need to watch episodes nine and 10, I feel. Um, then we're going to take a week break and then hopefully be able to go back to episodes 11 and 12 the week after that. So that is the plan anyway. Will Link Click is going to kind of be one of those things this fall that's going to be, I have no doubt we're going to get through episodes up to episode 24 before season three comes out. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do that. It's just going to be like, is it going to be like an every Saturday thing or is it going to be more sporadic? And probably in the September update, I'll talk more about that as well. But with that being said, <laughs> I'm really super excited. I do want to say one more thing before we start. Um, I don't really have much of a moderator for this series only because I was like, well, it's just, you know, a prequel or alongside season one, which I've already watched. So I didn't think I needed it, but I, I don't know. I want to, I want to see comments for this series, but then I've already had one, one person in the comments was like, Lu Guang's hair turns white. Don't worry. And I was like, cool. <laughs> that would have been great to have witnessed myself and reacted to in the moment when it happened. But thanks for spoiling that. So at some point in this series, Lu Guang's hair is going to turn white. I, we speculated it, but it's confirmed. I do not want to know when or what episode or why. Please don't do that. That's spoiling a reactor and that's lame. Don't be lame. <laughs> and then somebody else was trying to be like, oh, well, season three is a prequel. And I was like, oh, damn it, son of a bitch. So I had to stop reading immediately and was like, why are you spoiling? I don't want to know these things. <laughs> So it's just like, I, I don't know why people do that. I'm like, if a reactor says they want to go in blind to something and they want the show to surprise them, why do you feel the need to tell them those things? They, they clearly don't want to know. So, I don't know. So season three is a spoil of prequel. I, I'm kind of bummed about that because that kind of is a bummer. I wanted season three to be like a continuation from season two. And if we're backtracking... And that's the last season. I'm like, oh, is that it? Is that all we getting? Because I, I thought season three might be the last season, but I don't know. The point is, I was really bummed about that. I'm kind of like not as on a high for season three of Link Click now that I know that. Um, so I don't know. But I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> so please, I if I'm on the only way I will ask patrons on Discord if I want to know more. But YouTube commenters. Please do not tell me any more about this series or about stuff like that. Like that just ruins my fun and it makes me want to go watch something else and not link click because I'm like, okay, well, if I already know what's happening, what's the point? There's a thousand other anime I could watch and be surprised by. So please don't do that. 
rant over. But I was so pissed the other day because I was like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> like nobody was respectful. <laughs> or I'm sorry, those people weren't respectful. The rest of y'all are good, but. <sighs> Leave me alone. So anyway, I am glad that I can finally watch episodes nine and 10. So yay. Um, I want to give a shout out to Reiki for putting this together along with the fan subs over on Reddit. And thank you all for those of you who are supporting watching this series. Those of you that do comment and talk about it, it is worth it. So please feel free to comment below. Just don't fucking tell me anything about series three yet. <laughs> Just talk about this show and not the other stuff. It's been a morning. So <laughs> anyway. We're going to go ahead and get started and see what we get. I, I'm really excited for episodes 9 and 10. I've waited weeks to watch this because I'd recorded ahead, but uh, we're just going to see what we get. As per usual, we're going to uh, look at episode uh, 9 first, talk about it, and then go into episode 10. So we're going to get started with that, um, and we're going to do that here in 3, 2, 1, and let's... Uh, go. All right. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, because we have to report Lu Guang getting, you know, a concussion. And Shaoling made them go. Hmm. Uh huh. We're just hanging out, doing totally not suspicious things. <laughs> like Chelling's like, not surprised. <laughs> Lu Guang's like, I kind of had a concussion, so I couldn't shout. Mr. Police! <laughs> now... Reggie did tell me that in this episode, there's like a minute of silence that the, the audio was taken out for a minute on YouTube and here. So just so we know that is going to happen. I don't know where, but it is going to happen. She was like, I didn't want you to freak out wondering where the sound was. You boys are doing a lot of sleeping together. <laughs> I feel weird about it. She's like, you guys are being strange for no reason. She's like, I mean, I feel bad you got hit with a crowbar. Let's go back to sleep, Lu Guang. Oh, interesting. <laughs> She's like, you don't act like you're grown up. Oh, Liu, yeah, that's his name. Okay, that's the friend's name that she works with. Okay. She's like, are you guys really okay shuffling me away? Is there something going on between you two? <laughs> That's the face of, oh my God, they're boning and not telling me, aren't they? <laughs> That's what that face is. Oh my God. Are you, are you going to note how he's bleeding out the side of his head? Yeah. Well, yeah. Be more careful, yeah. No. And why'd they go after your stuff? Yeah. Huh. 
Huh. Pretty positive about that. Asking Chang Yoshi to not leave any detail undeterred. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Uh, like, let him down easy. Ha! <laughs> be tactful! I like he's telling Lu Guang to be tactful. Ching Joshi, are you sure? Yeah. Uh-huh. You are not wrong in feeling that. <laughs> Lu Guang's like, yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, you jealous, Lu Guang? Ugh, damn it. Lu Guang's like, finish your sentences, sir! If you're gonna say them! Uh, that portrait of Chao Ling that's behind the chair there was not their last episode, but it looks really pretty. Lu Guang's like, I don't trust this therapist. He tolerates you fine. <laughs> we read the world wrong. Oh, that's a very descript title. That's just like cut and dry, like burp. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. Very mysterious. Hmm. Liu Ye. Ah. Aww. I like that we finally got his name, Liu Ye. And that's Chang Yoshi's. Ha! <laughs> Lu Guang's like, that's not enough of a no to. Not enough of a no to change things. Well, hello, sir, in the green. Why is everybody in green? Being all suspicious. Ah. Mm. Right. That's a way of saying it. Hmm. Well, that seems to pay off that debt, yeah. Well, oh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, good save.
Hmm. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Chang Joshi, you're not getting the damn signature. Oh, that face, yeah. He's like, really? You talked about being tactful and then you wanted a signature after we told him that? You too. Oh my god. Oh, the two of them! I love their dynamic. Get us this big damn safe. He's like, you're not the one with the concussion, sir. Yeah, exactly. I like that that thing says U.S. mail. That's so interesting. Ah. He's like, you got a freaking urn in there, dude? No. Hmm. Oh. Three months ago. That's not very long at all. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just didn't ask. Oh, yeah. The classic, you didn't ask me. Aww. Sharing, like, their friendship. Uh-huh. Hmm. Did you have an appointment with him? Did you forget about it? All the green. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get into this. Very much. Gossip. Hmm. Doctor, hey, you're being really suspicious. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm kind of jealous you have this relationship with this hot guy. Yeah, Chang Yoshi. Do you not realize that that is, in fact... Crossing the line, but uh, yeah, I don't know if Luke Wong's go gonna think the same. I don't know if he's gonna think the same. That little tiny safe. All right, good. Oh, what my God. Lu Guang's like, I have to mentally prepare myself. Oof. Did he not tell him that Dr. Hay was going to be there? We meet again! Ah! Oh my God! 
god, the two of them standing up in front of Chang Yoshi. Heju and Heju and in the black and him in the white. Shut up. Shut up. Chang Yoshi's she's like, I have introduced my boyfriend to the guy that's got a crush on me. What do I do? How do you help him? Ah! Fudge, come on. I need to see your resume and your credentials. Oh, bitch! Oh, that look! Fudge, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, Lu Guang's like, back the F off, bitch. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, bitch, are you kidding me? The tea, y'all. The tea. Lu Guang's like, I don't know if that's legit. I don't know if that's real. An aggressive roommate! Cheng Joshi, this is a bad idea I had. This is a very bad idea. Oh my god. These two! They're both fighting over a Labrador! She's like, do you see me? Like, see you, bitch. Oh no. You might want to go to that bar now, girl. Well, that is very true, likely. Ha! Oh my god. I don't blame her for being mad. Okay. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Oof. Oh my God. Who be this? Uh, okay. Damn, Bro High is his actor. Oh my God. He reacted not good to this. Not good at all. Lu Guang's like, we've made a terrible mistake. Well, you say that, sir. Yeah, how do you explain that you went through a photo into the past? Oh, don't call him a piece of trash. Yeah. Well, oh shit, now we know some more backstory. Oh. Red Bean. Oh, is that the girl from and that was the girl from the flashback. So she was his sister, but like not a biological sister. She was adopted like from the orphanage. 
That makes more sense now. Okay. Oh, uh, they actually found little kids that look like them too, which is crazy. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. These like little kids. Oh. Oh. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is legit red beans on that. It said shaved ice. So is that just like fruit and stuff over like an icy? And them all sharing it. Me and rice crate. Yam and rice cake. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, shit. That one guy's so much bigger. Oh, he's the coach. I was like, he looks so familiar, but yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. That's crazy. Oh shit. <laughs> wow. Huh. Wow. Hmm. So then what? Wow, I get like very much Kagami and Himuro vibes from Kroko's basketball from them. They definitely feel like the two brothers. Interesting. These two underdogs working their way up. Mm. And that's the move he uses on him then, right? In that match, that's the move that he uses. Mm. Huh. You didn't even read that, bitch! Or did you? Oh, good. You're actually reading the fine print. Ah. Oh, and his name is Rice Cake. Oh. 
あうん。Oh my god。Oh。And he's willing to take half the cost so that he could stay with him. Okay. Oh, and yeah, that is the girl. Oh my God. Sometimes just because it's expensive doesn't mean that it's good. She's like, oh, ew. Is that like angels envy? Because it's probably gross. Mm. Oh. Yeah, this is the cheap stuff. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit, don't drink that straight, dude. You will be Oh, stop drinking it. Yeah, no, 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 no. You going to be hung over as hell tomorrow. Oh. Oh. I love her with them. That's so sweet. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, also that Louis the 13th is like a thousand dollars a bottle. It's insanely expensive or more. It's insanely expensive. I've seen a bottle of it before, but it was like at a friend's dad's house. And it was like behind like three glass cases. Oh, oh, she is so sweet. I love her. I love her in this. Oh, and he's the one that doesn't. Oh, but like Sh Shanghai is so earnest. Oh. Oh, that's so simple. Hmm. Oh, well, then you got the red bean. Well, I mean, it sounds like he's willing to do things to help you, so I could honestly see why he would do it. Yeah, there seems like there's more to it. Well, yeah. That's a dangerous thing. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gave us the wrong photo last time. Caused a little bit of problem with slightly, you know, oh, but you were ready this time. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Back, back, back again. Oh man, the crane games like in season two. Oh my God. Oh, I, so this is the part with like, 
it taken off. I wonder if there was a song during this and they don't have copyright over it anymore. And so they're just like, we're just going to let it go. Hmm. Well, I'm glad this is the moment with the sound cut out for a minute because that's a little bit more tolerable. Aww. She's like, I'm not a basketball fan. Oh, Lee I Oh, come on now. They're so cute. Hmm. Oh, to change a negative situation to a positive. Okay. Aww. Uh. What a sweetheart. Ah. Uh. She's like, oh, is developing photos your lingo for making out? <laughs> She's just like, why am I getting the shaft from you two? Well, I hopefully won't get hit with a crowbar this time being able to help you. I like that the driver, the driver's like, what are you, what kinkery are y'all about to get into? I, not that I'm questioning. Oh my God, really? This, oh my God, the driver, it's like, she's suspicious of them and their relationship. Uh, oh my God. Oh girl, what we doing? Oh no. Oh girl. Bitch, oh no. Uh oh. Oh my God, girl. Uh-huh. Well, at least they keep the place tidy, right? Oh my God. What would they have left out that she could notice? Oh my God. Oh my God. She's like, what am I about to walk in on? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, she's gonna know after this. Oh, and she's like, wait, what? 
Is she going to come out and try to tell Lu Guang and ask him about what's going on while he's down there? Hmm. Oh. So now he's playing the friend instead of instead of Shang. Huh. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Shit, and that's the last time he saw him, right? Oh, that's so sad because this is the last time he saw him. What is going on? Oh. Hmm. Because there's an extra cell phone there. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. Uh. And he didn't have money to loan him, but... Huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, oh, 
Interesting. Well, hello. Damn. <sighs> Shit. So he's into drugs. Yeah. Uh, she's like, what's going on? Ooh. Oh, shit. How do you know? Shit. He's in so deep with this. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it's just like this big cycle. Shit. Yep. Yep. Damn. Yep. Don't be reckless. Damn. Damn. Oh my God. So yeah, like just getting caught up in this web of everything. Damn. That sucks. Oh. I hate that for him. Mm. Man, that sucks for him. Like, just, yep, at a dead end. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So it's really not that he's like in this situation where he's like on drugs and doing all this. He's doing this all for others, but he's going. Oh, he's been doing this all for others. Oh my God. Oh. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, did you waste your money? Oh. Hmm. Oh. So maybe the girl that ran into Chang Shinoshi was not the same girl as this. It's been a little hot second. Oh, and that's why he went and got the shaved ice. Damn, that it must not have real ice in it because it kept its consistency really well. Oh, wow. She's a great actress at playing being sick. That's for damn sure. Oh. I wonder if Lu Guang can relate to his teacher being in a similar situation. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is really sad, y'all. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so tragic and heartbreaking. Okay. Oh. Oh my God, don't go back. Oh, Chang! Chang! Oh. Oh, damn it. Meanwhile, Zhao Ling is like, what is this? What is this kinker y'all are doing? Oh, it's so sad. Oh, is she gonna die right there? Oh. Oh, he didn't throw up this time? Damn. 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 Oh my God, and Shelly's gonna be like, what are y'all talking about? Oh, <laughs> and that's how we find out. Oh shit, and here we go. Uh-huh. Oh my god! Oh, he's got the water bottle! Oh, okay. Let me move ahead to the end of this. 
Oh, no, that was the end. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, you know. So, yeah, um, uh, that's, okay. So that was that first episode. <laughs> oh, man, I, I'm really excited. I'm glad that I waited until we could watch episodes 9 and 10 together because Originally, I was thinking, um, as you probably saw in last week's video, I was like, oh, I'll just watch episode 9 and then just wait. And I was like, no, I'm going to wait and see episode 10 along with it. And I'm glad I am now because... Now, of course, I don't know if they're actually going to try to, like, tell Shaoling what's going on or if they're going to try to, like, make up an excuse and she's going to be like, really? Um, but... I'm very curious to see what they're going to do to try to tell her otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, so I, okay. So we've, we figured out what's kind of crazy about it is the idea that the three of them, they do kind of mirror Lu Guang and Chang Xiaoxi and Chao Ling. Um, Chao Ling and uh, the one cis red bean being both these very sweet and caring, considerate people who are hardworking. Um, but then you have like, of course, you have Chang Zhoshi comparing to Shang and just being these underdogs working their way up through everything. I find that Lu Guang and, Zen and Zhang are kind of similar because they're both going out of their way to help other people, but doing so in a way that is perhaps, I don't want to say self-destructive, but if you've watched the Dong Hua <laughs> with Lu Guang, you know some of his actions might be a little bit self-destructive. A wee bit. Um, but what's so interesting to me is that you have these preconceived notions of of Zhang from the flashback where you watch him kind of be you watch him be like oh he is you see this character go oh well he's living this life of luxury and here's what he's doing and you kind of see his character you know, kind of soaking in, like he's sitting there with the with the expensive bottle of liquor on the hill, and he's like, "This is a sign of success." And you anticipate that it's all going to go downhill, and that he's going to like start getting on drugs, perhaps, and like rock down this dark path. The reality is that he wanted that luxury for his sister and brother, and so he made deals with people to get that for them. But it wasn't stuff for himself. Like, he rigged the match. He was basically getting in debt to help people around him. Like, he agreed to take half his salary if Shang could be on board with him, which is a huge deal, right? And so then, but at the same time, he's trying to pass it off like, like it's not a big deal, and it all starts adding up. And then you find out about the surgeries, and that he's been helping his sister pay for them, and that he's been buying things for her to make her feel better, and that he's, like, it's just, it's crazy He's doing all this stuff for Shang and Red Bean. I like that their names are Yam, Rice Cake, and Red Bean. I like that that's their nicknames. But he's doing all these things for them and saving nothing really for himself. And so as far as we know, after this, like, after the sister dies, he does not um, go to any more boxing matches. He kind of, like, cuts everything out. He's like, well, my sister's dead. I want out. I'm not going to be a part of it anymore. And I'm not, I'm just going to quit boxing and I don't want my brother drugged down with me. So that's kind of where we know we're at. Now, the big question going into episode 10 is how, how are Chang Joshi and Lu Guang going to articulate this to Shang? How is he going to find out about it? How is he going to know without knowing their business? And what's the resolution of that going to be? And is Chao Ling going to have her interview with him, right? I feel like she's going to have her interview with him and he's going to like come around and then it's going to be a thing and he's going to talk about Zhang and all of that so I have a feeling about that next episode that it's all going to come to a head and probably work out in her favor but oh so Heshu or Zhuhe yeah uh, Heshu the, the psychiatrist oh my god w why is this show building a love triangle because <laughs> it kind of is I'm like oh my god it kind of is I was like <gasps> so that whole scene in the restaurant where the two of them are standing up arguing over Chang Yoshi and Chang Yoshi is like, this was maybe a bad idea. Oh my God. Right? Just, oh, 
I was floored. I, Heshu is very interesting, or Zhuhe, Dr. He, he's very interesting. I don't know what to make of him. I think he has nefarious means in mind, but he's hiding it. And he really wants to get to know Lu Guang because Lu Guang is like his chief rival at this point. Calling him an aggressive roommate. I was like, oh my God. I just, what? Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I'm really excited to dive into episode two. So we're gonna pull that up here and see what happens. Um, <laughs> we, we last left off with, um, oh my God, with the, uh, with, I, I'm so, I love the closet and that is where we're at. And my dogs are being silly and they're gonna to have to stop. So no. Geese. I, I'm so glad we get to watch episode 10. I was really worried that we were going to have to stop here and that was going to be it. But no, no, we're great. We're golden. <laughs> I'm super excited, y'all. I, I hope you all are as well. But we're not going to waste uh, any more time. We're going to make sure I get all this taken care of. Yep. We are going to dive. Oh, my gosh. We're going to dive right in. My dogs are like, play with me. And I'm like, no, link click. <laughs> So we're going to dive into episode 10 of Link Click and see what we get. I have a feeling we're probably going to wrap up this arc maybe in this episode, but we'll see. And we're going to do that here in three, two, one, and let's go. <laughs> How does one explain this? Yes. How do we explain this? And oh, they told her. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God. You are ridiculous, sir. This is the fourth version. Oh my God. Lu Guang's like, I hate you. You're an idiot. Ah! The way he looked at him. Oh my God. Well, Lu Guang's like, I hate you. This is just, yeah. Uh, well, you see. <laughs> Wow. Why don't they, at this point, they should just tell her. I want Lu Guang to just tell her like it is. And he's like, I can't. It's about two people. She's like, what? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my God. I like that Lu Guang is waiting. Oh, there we go. Here's how it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. She doesn't believe them. Oh my God.
I mean, they tell her the truth, right? No, 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 Luke Wong is like, no, 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 no. Oh my God, Luke Wong is like, I hate this. You're gonna reveal everything. Uh-huh. Ooh, and now it's, now it, it's hitting. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. And now we're going to go back to all that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Luke Wong's like, well, that's one way of getting it out of the way. Well, you're the one that started this. Lu Wong, that's a very flimsy thing. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Okay, a third of it. Fair. Fair. Don't dig your grave. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh my God. Oh. A week. Oh my God. Hmm. And once I'm back, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Oh my God, she is terrifying. It's like, I would have just accepted it better if you both said you were gay and we just got over with it. Yeah. Hmm. The pet dog suspects the universe for scheming to take its place. Oh! Oh! Okay. The pet dog. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Mm 
-hmm. He's like, read the room. He's like, just leave him alone. We got things. Uh huh. Yeah. You're the realistic one. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Chang. <laughs> Did you get your Oh, look at that smile! Oh, look at Lee Kwong! Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Uh oh. Some non disclosure. Oh. Lu Guang's like, that was hush money that we just accepted. Lu Guang's like, oh, sure, you understand until it's going to come up. Basically, it's like, don't say anything about anything. Oh, okay. And that's... Zhang, right? Damn, he's already, he got like gray headed in that short amount of time. Damn. Yeah. He also like aged twin 10 years. Oh, he was expecting Shang. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, he just wanted to see his friend. Oh. 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 Oh, I hear that he literally just got out of prison. Oh. Oh, poor Shang. Ah. Uh.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Yep. Now you figured it out. Yep. You figured it out. Lu Guang's like, yep. No, it wasn't wasted. Hmm. Oh. 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 And they didn't go. Man. Oh. 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 That one guy looks like he has his hair ripped out, honestly. Mm. Hmm. Ah. Mm. Such good spirits is amazing to me. I love watching it here. Right. Hmm. Right. Ah. Uh. Could be. <laughs> ah! Lu Guang, your actor is just, uh. Ooh. Ooh. What are all these flirty looks? Hmm. Huh. Could be. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ooh, yeah, when like that there is a right and wrong. Okay. Did you set this up? Uh huh. Oh, 
Oh, come on, Chang Yoshi. Come on. Ha! Yes, you're going. Lu Guang's like, I'm not going to have you sulk and sit here to the sidelines being ridiculous. Mm. Damn, he looks worse for wear. Sorry, my friend's an idiot. And he has the same type of liquor that is the kind that Jean got them when they first signed. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Lu Guang's like, somebody's got to keep a level head. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. They're going to get drunk. And Lu Guang's like, I got to take care of this. You sure? Oh, no. Hmm. Oh. He's like, quit drinking. That's a dangerous thing. No, no, no. Don't say something you're going to regret. Mugong's like, how do I damage control this? Hmm. Well, kind of, because you're like, oh. Damn. And that's, well, that's a different kind of game, but. Oh. That's so sad, like the two of them playing together. Oh. And the red bean ice room. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Uh huh. Mm. Enjoy yourself as needed. Ugh. Drink less. Oh. Yeah, get some food in ya. Huh. He's like, thanks. Oh. 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 Dang, I, uh. Damn, we're just getting to the heart of this matter. Luke Wong's like, y'all, this is getting to be heavy. Oh, 
Oh no. Uh, Lu Guang, you don't know when drunk people get emotional and start talking about all this. Oh. Oh. Bitch. Oh my gosh. Oh. Damn. Ah, oh, that sucks. Damn. Oh, that's so sad. Oh shit, no, we're drinking too much. No, don't keep drinking. Luke Wong's like, I gotta explain this. Mm. Oh my God. Oh shit. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, no, we ain't finishing that. You're already drunk. Oh, my God. Luke Wong's like, we can't do that. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. Oh my God. How, Chelling, how'd you get this going? Yeah, and they're like, wait, what, how? I like that they're both. 
Arnold, like, should we be here? Should we be here? Oh my God, brotherly love. But Charlene, how'd you set this up? I love that he's like, can you believe this guy? Lu Wong's like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Chang's like, should we leave? Should we, should we still be here? Oh my God. Get out. Oh my God. Oh! Wow. Oh my God. Huh. Oh my God. Bitch. You took the photo. Sh Judge, you're gonna get smacked upside the head. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, my God. Uh huh. Oh my God. Uh huh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Luke Wong's like, oh my God, this is it. Okay, and Luke Wong's like, this is so wrong. We're, we're doing all these things wrong. Oh my God, that was. Uh, well, it, yes. Uh huh. Well, yeah, kind of. Well, that's a great question. You're asking great questions. Ah! I like that she curls her bangs. Uh-huh. Mm. 
Right. Ah. It very much is walking on a knife's edge. Yeah, oh, that's a great description. That's a great description of it. Hmm. Ah! Oh, shit. Why are we investigating more? I thought we'd wrapped everything up. Oh, well. Well. Sure. <laughs> Luke Wong's like, stop. Please, don't make this more complicated. Hmm. Uh, Lu Wang was like, that's incredibly insightful of you. I mean... It's just reality coming to... Uh-huh. Good luck. Good. I was like, I was like, are we wrapping this up this episode and moving on? Not that I don't love this scenario, but oh yeah. Well, he's like, I can't answer that question. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. And then I want I want Shanghai to show up so that you can confirm it. Oh. Oh, this is so sad. I'm just sitting on the beach. Come on, Sha come on, Shanghua. I Shanghai, I need you to show up. I'm just sitting here pondering over these tangerines. That's right, show up right there, bitch. Do it. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh, bro!
one's so sweet. Yeah. Oh. Oh, have a real like sober bro hug moment. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, oh. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See, I told you, you bitches. I'm not lying. There he is. Oh. Just two bros alone on a beach between two perfectly placed parasols and chairs. Don't question the layout. Oh shit. The witches, the wishes. My most valuable things. I want to see what the other two were. Is Red Beans going to be last? Probably. Or is this going to be it? Or are you not going to show us? It is hers. Shut up! No! Stop. Is his gonna say, I wanna be together with Rice Cake too? And he's like, this is awkward. We had the same wish. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's so sweet. Damn it. Oh. I'm going to read the last one. And they finished their bottle of liquor, right? Oh, let's just burn that. We don't have to read it. No, no, no. no. Come on, bitch, show us. Show us what it was. What if it did say to be together with rice cake? Oh my, well. Oh my gosh. He put them before himself. Oh. Oh.
Damn. That's so damn sweet. Oh, I love that. I love that this just kind of took the turn and focused on the characters and their resolution. And how Lu Guang and Chang Zhaoxi and Zhao Ling caused this for them. Damn. And he's going to do the interview now. She's like, we went to Korea for a week. Aww. Aww. Oh, and then playing the bad men together. And red and blue, look at them. Let it be, you don't get to see it. Ah! Squash, mm. Lu Guang, you're in great spirits. Uh-huh. Lu Guang, oh my God. And then it's Tom and Jerry. Uh, how did he get superpowers? Uh huh. The don't eat. Hmm. She's like a little cliche, but not bad. Hmm. Uh, an essay is like a. Huh. Aww. Aww. Oh, is that crab? Hell yes. Ah! What a, what a witch, yes! Oh my god! Love it! And she's like, you get it, Lu Guang. Oh my god! Ah! The lobster. Oh, he dyed his hair. I was like, that makes sense for the matches. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh my god, yes, yes. And the Yeah. Freaking love this. Oh, hell yes. This is a great episode. Good time, good time.
Okay, I want to see, are we going to have any previews? No. We most certainly are not. Damn! Well, that was a really good episode set. <laughs> Honestly, episodes 7 through 10 um, were really, really good. I For being four episodes long for this arc... It didn't get boring. I really, really liked. I it wasn't. You would think this arc being drawn out for like nearly four hours <laughs> would, would be a lot, but no. I I really, really enjoyed not only the suspense of episode seven and eight. Seven and eight was like just tension and like oh my god. And then you had this episode set, which was all about getting back to healing that relationship. So, and I kind of like the idea of link click and what we're doing in these episodes where Chang, Joshi and Lu Guang are trying to like help people mend, not, not only get closure and move on, but also mend relationships. And I really, really like that. I, I like that now Chow Ling is in on it. I like that we've not gotten to the halfway point and she's in on it now. She knows, which it was going to be hard. Like, like, Lu Guang and Cheng Joshi point out she's a journalist, so her getting suspicious. It was only a matter of time. It and the real the hard part is not necessarily explaining and telling the truth, but getting that person to believe the truth. Because when you explain it like they do, she's at first like, "Oh, that's stupid. That makes no sense." And then when she sees it in action, she's like, "Okay, this is weird, but you've shown that this is a legit thing, so okay." Mm -hmm. which I really, really liked. I liked how this episode handled it. I liked that they didn't draw it out and they didn't have it be this drawn out thing. They were just like, no, here's what's going down. There you go. And now she knows, right? So now she can be in on it. Dr. He Dr. Hess still bothers me a lot because he clearly seems like he's trying to find out about it and he's suspicious and it's like, mm. but maybe it's going to be a red herring. Maybe Dr. Het is going to be a red herring this whole time, but I don't know. I don't know. It seems, it seems like he's very wary of Lu Guang now and Lu Guang's very wary of him. Um, luckily he has his stuff stored in a safe now, so it should be protected. But yeah, I, something I really liked about the latter half of, of episode 10 specifically is that they did focus a lot on Shanghai's actor was great. I he was a standout for me in these four episodes. He was so good, um, so handsome and so good. And I really liked just the range of motions, whether he was playing Chang Joshi playing him or he was playing the boxer. He he came across as really guarded and had this wall in front of him. And then as the episodes go on, it you see that wall kind of break down and you get to see this like more vulnerable side of him that really just longs to like make up to his brother. And that's so sweet. I love it. And to see like the whole, the whole trajectory of their relationship. And then I love the latter half of this episode where it just let them have this moment together to reconnect and re get back together. And then we end with the boxing match, brotherly love, all that good stuff. There, there definitely is a difference between like the brotherly love of, the two of them of Shang and Zhang. And then you get to Cheng, uh, Jiaoxi and Lu Guang and Chao Ling is like looking between the two of them. Like, is there something here you want to tell me about? <laughs> Cause of course red bean like Shang and then Zhang liked red bean, but they ended up wanting each it to work out for each other. Lu Guang and Cheng Jiaoxi is like a brother to Chao Ling. So that's not on the table. And then Lu Guang and Chao Ling are like, not on the table at all. So that logically leaves us with Chang Joshi and Lu Guang, which I mean, it's coded. It's coded a lot. I, I was waiting for her to say something being like, are you guys together? But also the Chinese media, I don't think would push for that because we can't have such things, but it's heavily subtext coded. It's there. But I, I really liked episodes seven, eight, nine, and 10. I really like them. I'm glad I'm taking a break next week because this is the definitive end of an arc. And so we are going to take a break next week and then come back. And then when we come back, we'll be able to uh, start episodes 11 and 12 and go from there. Which that now that Chow Ling is in on it, it opens up a whole host of different things that could happen between them. So... I'm really excited about that, but I'm really excited to hear your comments down below. 
I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe. Take care. And yeah, I'll be back. Um, not next week, but hopefully the week after that with more link click. Bye.